Hello Year 5, welcome to your Maths Challenge. This is presented by the Maths team here at Chesterton Community Sports College. And we're going to do a little quiz with you to see how much you know about shapes. First of all, let's meet the team here at CCSC. There's Mr Powell and Miss Robson. Mr Daly and Miss Davies. Mr Morgan and myself, Mr Kennelly. I'm the Head of Maths here at CCSC. Okay, let's get on to today's activity. How much do you know about shapes? So, how does this work? You're going to get 12 questions about shapes. You get 30 seconds to answer each question. You need to write down all of your answers. Okay, that's really important. At the end of the quiz, you'll have to decode a message from your answers by changing your answers for letters and putting the letters into the coded message. Now that will make more sense when we get to it. How much do you know about shapes? Are you ready? Like I say, you will need a pencil and paper to write all of your answers down. Question one, how many sides does a triangle have? Okay, no tricks here. All triangles have three sides. So your answer to question one is three. Question two. How many triangles can you see below? Okay, so this wasn't a trick question, but there are triangles that are overlaid, and your answer should be six. Let's have a look. So one, two, three, four, five, and the big one giving you six. So your answer to question two was six. Question three, what do the angles in any triangle add up to? So question three, what do the angles in any triangle add up to? Okay, so the three angles inside a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. And in the question shown, we had a 50, 60 and 70 degree angle in the triangle, which gives us 180. Question four. How many edges do I need to build a cuboid? How many edges do I need to build a cuboid? Okay, a little bit of a tricky one here, but you need 12 matches. You need four for the top, four for the bottom, and another four for the four uprights. That gives you 12 matches in total. Question five. 
How many vertices are there on a cuboid? Question five. How many vertices are there on a cuboid? Okay, so a vertice is just a corner piece. So if I was to make this cuboid, I would need eight corner pieces, as the purple dots show. So your answer to question five was eight. Question six. How many faces are the, on the shape below? How many faces are on the shape below? Okay, so for this particular problem, we have five faces or sides. We've got the triangle at the front, that's one. The triangle at the back, that's two. The base, which is three. The left-hand side, which is four. And the right-hand side, giving us five. Okay, question seven. How many sides does a quadrilateral have? So question seven. How many sides does a quadrilateral have? Okay, every quadrilateral has four sides. Think about a quad bike, it has four wheels, or a quadruplet is a set of four children. So every quadrilateral has four sides. Question eight. How many sides does a 50p coin have? So question eight, how many sides does a 50p coin have? A 50p has seven sides. This is called a heptagon. Now that's a really tricky question. Not many people know that, but all you had to do was look at the picture in the question. So question eight, seven. There are seven sides on a 50 pence coin. Question nine. How many sides do I have if I add together the sides on a pentagon, a hexagon, and an octagon? So if I add the sides up that are contained on a pentagon, hexagon, and octagon, what number do I have? So, a pentagon is five sides, that was the first shape shown. A hexagon has six sides, that was the middle shape that was shown, and an octagon has eight sides, that was the last or the right hand side shape that was shown. So five plus six plus eight means altogether I have 19 sides. Question 10. What is the perimeter of the shape below? What is the perimeter of the shape below? Okay, so the perimeter is the distance around the outside of any shape. So for this shape, I have to add up all the lengths of the sides. So nine 
at 7, at 7, at 8, at 5, at 4, means that the perimeter of this shape is 40. So question 10, your answer is 40. Question 11, what is the area of the shape below? So question 11, what is the area of the shape below? Okay, the area of a shape is the space inside it, or the space inside the perimeter. So this is a rectangle, and what you do to find the area of any rectangle is to multiply how long it is by how tall it is. So 3 times 8, or 8 times 3, means that this shape has an area of 24. So your answer for question 11 is 24. And question 12, your final question, what is the volume of the cuboid? Question 12, what is the volume of the cuboid? Okay, now the volume is the space inside what we call a solid or a three-dimensional object. And for this particular one, all you have to do is multiply your three sizes or dimensions together. So 9 times 2 times 3 means that the volume of this particular cuboid is 54. And so your answer to question 12 is the number 54. Okay, now, can you use the code below to answer the joke? For example, the first part of the answer, so question one, your answer was three. And if we look at the code below, which is the alphabet, you should find that the number three equals the letter B. So at the bottom part of the screen, I've changed the number three for the letter B, which starts answering the joke. You need to do that for all of your answers and you're going to get a joke. And the answer to the joke will be whatever you decide it to be. But the question or the joke is, why was six afraid of seven? Good luck completing your challenge for today and well done.